What's up guys, Carl here today. We're gonna to dive into some Power Apps. For you guys that don't know what Power Apps is, Power Apps is a suite of apps, services, and connectors, as well as a data platform that provides a rapid development environment to build custom apps for your business. Not only that, Power Apps is a cost-effective solution that provides off-the-shelf software applications and is also instantly compatible with all platforms. Those platforms include Windows, Android, iOS, and the World Wide Web. Power Apps is fundamentally a development platform for mobile and web apps. It allows citizen developers to reach capabilities that were once only reserved for high-end development tools. What's more important, Power Apps is quite easy to learn. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so if you wish to follow along, I have provided the links below so you can also create your first app and Power Apps. All right, so we're looking at this and in this unit, you'll generate a mobile app where the data source is Microsoft Excel workbook that is stored in Microsoft OneDrive for business. It looks like the first thing we're gonna be doing is connecting to a data source. So we're just gonna basically follow the tutorial prompts given. So first things first, Download the flooring estimate workbook and save it to your OneDrive. So we'll just go ahead and open this. So we have this here. We can enable saving. I'm just going to go ahead and save this. So good. And I'll just minimize and keep it right there. The next thing we're going to do is go to makepowerapps.com. So we're just going to right click and open that up here. So now that I'm currently logged in, let's go ahead and go back here. And for the sake of following this tutorial, I have it showing like this. So you guys can do the same thing to follow along. So the next thing we're going to do is on the home screen, select the create and then select more data sources. So we're going to select create. And it looks like it says go to more data sources, which is here. Generated apps are always based on a single list or table but you can add more data to the app later. The next four steps explain how to connect the Excel workbook. All right, so before we go ahead and hit get started, let's just read number four, in the new tab section under connection, select OneDrive for business. So it looks like we can just go ahead and skip past this. So it's asking us to look under connections and select OneDrive for business, business or browse to the file location. So we're going here to select OneDrive for business. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and connect your OneDrive. And I've connected my OneDrive here. And this is my flooring estimates Excel file. It tells you to choose the Excel file, select the file, and then under choose a table, select the floor estimates table. And then we're going to hit connect. So once we hit connect, then that loads. You can go ahead and skip this for now. Then it's going to go ahead and connect your first official Power Apps um, based on an Excel sheet that has been created by Microsoft. We're going to next hit this play button. And once you hit that play button, now you can access your Power App and you can just click on your different corporate images. Look at the price. Look at the extreme series, 18 inches by that. And you can scroll up and down. You can search for items. So if we just search tile or carpet, and search for carpet. Now, if you went ahead and downloaded the app, you can then go to your phone, log in, of course, with the same login that you have here. I'm just going to do that real quick. So now that I've logged in, now I'm able to see my power app on my phone and basically can do some of the same things that I was able to do on the computer. So I can type in hardwood, a part of hardwood to finish it for me. Look at my different hardwoods. 
And basically, there you have it. So it's now official. You have officially created your first official Power Apps with the help of Microsoft and the help of me, myself. And I hope you guys enjoyed that short, quick tutorial. I hope you guys get more engaged in Power Apps because there's a lot of great things that you can do within the tool. And it's a lot of ways you can integrate the tool within your workplace as well as create different things such as sign-in sheets or booking sheets or anything like that. And it's things that you can use to kind of create some more efficiencies. I hope you guys like this video, subscribe, share this video to somebody that's interested in learning Power Apps. And let's continue to learn on the go as we grow. It's your boy Carl. Peace. Before you go, if you're new to this channel, here's a chance for you to subscribe and make sure you smash that thumbs up once again. Make sure you leave some comments down in the comment section. And if you want to check out some more videos that may help you learn on the go as you grow, you can do so right now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.